the one who has brought us this far manzo we look up to you this morning. We look up to you this morning. Marisa Somebody open up your mouth and appreciate my God and appreciate Him, Marisa for bringing us this far. Marisa Toshanta Balika and Agazento Somebody open up your mouth and thank this Father and thank Him for being God. Marisa Toshanta Balisa Doshana, Eraza Toshani Yabaruzo Toshani Yagara, Marika Talizo Toshanta Gara, my. God, we appreciate you in this place for what you are doing in our midst. Malesa Toshegere, Yabasan Toshantagara, Eroso Toshata Balika Zonto Shantagara, Enta Gazanta Koshegere, Malisa Toshakatenta Gagaga, Marika Gagaga, Malisa Toshegere, or Rakara from my spirit to your spirit, Marika Toshendere, Elenga. I have come as your child, Marika. We lay aside, we lay aside, we lay aside this morning. We have come to meet with God this morning. You have not come to meet with any man. You come to meet with him. So open up your mouth and appreciate this father. For being good to you. For being good to you. Our maker, we say thank you, Lord. Our advocate, our defense, our shield, our protector, our butler. We appreciate you this morning. Marika Marika. Oh God of Jezreel, my neighbor Rosso Toshe, we call upon you. We call upon your name this morning. Maruzo Toshanta Nikaga, Rosso Tosha, and Dagaga. Oh God of Jezreel, we call on you this morning. The one who sits in heaven and makes the heart is full stool. Maruzo Toshe, Rosso Tosha, Rosso Toshe, and somebody open up your mouth and cry to this God. Malishata. We have come to meet with you, Lord. We have come to meet with you, Lord. We come in your name. We come in your name. Not in the man of, not in the name of any man, but in the name of Jesus. We are here in your name, Lord. Rosoto Shanta Gariaza, Malito Shanta Liza, Rosoto Shanta, Rezanto Shanga, Maleka Tosha Garia Baba, a Rosoton Shagaria Gaga, our Maker, our Redeemer, a Zoto Shanta Bariaza, for keeping us from January to this moment. We say thank you, thank you in advance for the remaining years of the year. Maleba Baba Baba, Marika Daka Shanta Liaga. For the remaining months in this year, we thank you in advance. Oh, Lebaruka Tashenta, our shield, oh, Malika, our advocate, Malika, the Santa Tashenta, the one who makes a way when there seems to be no way. Marosoto Shanga, Malika, Maruko Toshin, breathe on us all, Lord. Maleso Toshin, breathe upon this service this morning. Malebo Rosonto Shanga, Reza Toshin, Yamaruzo Toshin. Somebody open up your mouth and appreciate God and appreciate God for His mercies, for His mercies endure it forever. Malika to shunde Marika takajagara, Malika gagagaga. The one who keep us, our going out and our coming in. Malika da 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 Malika takajagara. Mazotosha, Reza Tosha, Malika, 
Mazatosha katinka kata. E roko zonto shenda baya bara. Rekato shari ababa baba. Oh manika zonto shenda bara. Oh rekata kada kaka. The one who is and who is to come. E reka kaka kaka. Alebo zonto shanta baya. E rekato lo shanta kada. Enda kaka kaka. We look up to you this morning. We look up to you this morning. Do what no man can do. Reka zonto shanta bari. Reka zonto bari. Rozoto sha. E gadozo doko shanta bari yaria. Reka to zoriza. Maruzo to shende bari yazanda shali ya baba. E reta shonda le yaba zinda le shagara. Ronzo zoto shende bari yaga. E ruzonto shende bara. E reta ka. Maruzo to sha. E gadika zonto shanta gilede. E renka gaga gaga. We have come to meet with you this morning. We have come to meet with you our maker. Maruzo to sha gilede. Yazado sha gilede. Andele ya kazonto le kazada, enda da 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 da. Mali po zonto shenta gari ha, e rozo tosha, mali kaza tosha gana, e katosha gari da 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 da, e lenka gaga gaga gaga, onga gaga zika gaga gaga gaga, zonto kushenda da da da, mali gaga gaga gaga, onga gaga gaga. The one who rise upon the mighty wings of the wind, oh mali kaza da da, he rise upon the mighty wings of the wind, mali po zonto shenda da da da. The one who sits in heaven and makes the head his footstool, we appreciate. We honor you, Lord. Maleka zonto shenda da da da. Maleka to zonto shariaba. E rata kasha da da da. E laga da da da. Zonto kala kazanda da 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 da. Our Father, we have come to meet with you this morning. Spirit of the Living God, we ask for illumination. We ask for light. E rapa da da da. Zonto shaka da 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 da. A ruko to shanta da da. We ask for illumination this morning. Let there be an illumination from your word. Maleka to kushanta ba la da da da. E laga da 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 da. We have come building lines upon lines. Precept upon precept, Malika Shanto Garagara. We ask for light. We ask for light. Malika Santo Shankarada. Rezata E Rosa Tosha. E Garagara. Malika Toshi Garagara. Lanza Tosha Garagara. Maza Tosha Kita Gata. E Gazotosa. Alepo Santo Shenta. E Gada Gazanto Shakaragara. E Rosa Tosha Garagara. Alepo Azanto Shankarada. La Gaga Gaga Gaga. A rozoto shaka, a zato shanda bali, a zato shaka ya. Reta kabuluko roko sonto kala shanda bara ya. E reta zaka zaka zaka. A le ba 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 ba. A rozoto shaka ya ba kaza zaka zaka. O la zaka 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 zaka. A le ba 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 ba. Man zato shaka zaka. O zaka 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 zaka. A le ba 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 ba. A zato kashanga zaka zaka. O zaka zaka kuzoto shaka ya ba. E reta le ba sonto shanda zaka ya zaka zaka. O puna mato o puna pia mato. Ancora upon this God, Marika takashenda kada kada, Malika tosha kada kada, Ereza tosha kada kada, Malika kada kada, Let there be light, Let there be light, Let there be light, Erozo tosha kada kada, We ask for illumination, Maruko tosha kada kada, Maza tosha kada, Erozo tosha, Ega tuzo tosha kada, Eroko tosha kada kada, Malita kada kada kada, E rosa to shenta barika gaga gaga, alika gaga gaga zanda gaga, malika to shonda barika. Somebody lift up your mouth, lift up, lift up your hands and appreciate this God. Maza to shenta yaba, e rosa gaga gaga, maza to shenta gaga, e zade ko shenda gaga. Our bakla, maruzo to shenta barika zade ko shenda, e ronga gaga gaga gaga. Our advocate, maruzo to shenta gaga, malika to ko shenda gaga, e lepo ba 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 ba, aruko shonda ko shenda gaga. We worship your mother. Just this morning, Malika Zagara, Kashanta Baliya Zandoshaga, Erozo Toshada Baya Zandoleasha, Enga Raga Zanta Kala Shonda Dada Dada, Maruzo Toshenta Baliyaka, Alika Toko Zonto Shonda Baliya Zanda Dada, Erozo Sha, Agazo Toshaga Dada Dada, Erozo Tabaliza Toshaga Dada, Enga Gaga Gaga Gaga, We cry, Oh Lord, Let Your Angel descend in this place, Manda Gaga Zonto Shanta Gaga Gaga, Elazo Toshaga Dada Dada, Raga Zonto Shanta, Enga Gaga Gaga Gaga. Eliza kato shikere, oh mama 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 mama, expect you, oh labor kasonto kasha. Don't just pray, accept something from him, Oba. Expect that he move mightily in our midst. Maruko to shanta bariaka, eroka to kushenda kere kere, lembo shanto shanda kere kere kere, ratata sha, maruzo to sha, endali boso to sha kere yanga kaga kaga, eleta karuzo to sha di yada yada. Somebody open your heart to him this morning. Open up your heart to him this morning. Oh la 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 la, zo to sha kere kere. Malika zaka zaka shenda da 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 da. Malika zaka 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 zaka. Maruso to shenda. Enda zato sha. Enda tesh da 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 da. Maruso to shenda ya da 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 da. Onda da 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 da. Do what no 
man can do in our midst. Malisa to shake the the way maker, the one who is and who is to come. Oh, the one who parts the sea. Malika to shanta karaka. Haruko to shogun. We enthrone you in this place. Mandala shanta. Spirit of the living God, except you speak, what can man say? Expect you, expect you speak. We are not sure of the things that we hear. Expect you talk to us. We are not even sure of the things we hear. Lord, God, we pray this morning. Let there be an illumination in the name of Jesus. Let there be an illumination in the name of Jesus. We have come building line upon lines, preset upon in the name of Jesus, let your word bring understanding into our hearts this morning. In the name of Jesus, Marisa to Shandali, but I can send that I send that. Lord, shut up, Marisa to Shandali. Oh, Father, we exalt your name this morning. Spirit of the Living God, we thank you. We welcome you in this place. We thank you, Lord. Oh, Reka, 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 Reka. In advance of what you are going to do, we thank you, Lord. Marika to Shandali, Rosal to Shandali, Marisa. Thank you, mighty Redeemer. Thank you, mighty Redeemer. We exalt your holy name. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. Because you alone. You alone will be glorified in this place. Oh, Thank you, Lord. Jesus, mighty name we pray. worship him you don't need a song to worship him you don't need a song to give him praise
the valley we exalt you Bright and morning star we magnify you The Lord of glory we lift you up Oh my God, we exalt you Lord Oh we exalt you I'm on Magnified, oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Let us give him praise in the house this afternoon. Come on, somebody. Life sent a shout. Hallelujah. Let my Lord rain and let the earth tremble. He rain and let the earth tremble. My God rain and let the earth tremble. He rain and let the earth swear my God rain and let the earth tremble. He rain and let the earth tremble. Let my Lord rain and let the earth tremble. He rain and let the earth swear my God rain and let the earth tremble. Hold the over rain and let the earth tremble. He rain and Here and I let the earth tremble. 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 
kutumiza Jesu We magnify your name We magnify your name We magnify your name Magnify your name, Jesus. We lift you up in the house this morning. We magnify, we magnify, we magnify, we magnify. Oh, see, I could do me, see, I could do me, see, I could do me, we praise, we praise, we praise. Say, see, I could do me, see, I could do me, see, Oh, 
Oji my only dollar. Oh, randa la maseto li ba 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 o. Akali ba ba ba. Alubo ojo. Eleri I worship you. Oh, randa la dodo mo shaba ba. Ancient of days. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. Yeah. You're my miracle word. You alone are my promise keeper. You are my light in the midst of darkness. You're my wisdom, you're my everything. Lord, I worship only you. Lord, I worship only you. I give you praise. Blessed be your name, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name we worship. God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, the one who sits in the heavens, surrounded by the crystal sea. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. No one compares to you, Lord. None on earth, none in the heavens, none beneath the head. No one can love us like you do. No one can bless us like you do. No one can lift us up like you do. The Bible says you are the one that has the key of David. The one who opens the door and no man can shut. The one who shut and no man can hope. Father, we give you praise this morning. We join the elders in heaven. Singing hallelujah, hallelujah to your name, O God. Blessings and honor. Wisdom, thanksgiving to you, the only God, the only living God, the God of Daniel, the one that showed up in the fire for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the one who shut the mouth of the lion, the one when the prophet prayed, you made the sun to keep shining. The one who can suspend all rules for his children. Father, we give you praise this morning. We exalt you, our God. For you alone deserve all praises. You are the one who takes a man from the miry clay and makes him to dine with kings and queens. Father, we give you praise this morning. We give you all the glory. All the honor, all the adoration. We say be magnified in this place today. We leave all the lies behind. We leave all the lies behind. And we magnify you. We declare you bigger than our problems. We declare you bigger than our questions. Oh God. Thank you, King of Glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah to your holy name, Lord. You know, in Jesus' name we have worshipped. Is there a worshiping worshiper in the house this morning? In Jesus' name we have worshipped. I know that if you're a worshiper, you just want to keep worshiping the Lord. Don't let your worship end here. Continue to worship your father even at home. Give him all the praise. Because the battle can be won with just your praises. The battle can be won with just your praises. That's what I heard in my spirit. The battle can be won with just your praises. Praise him. He said he will fight for you and you will hold your peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can we open our Bibles to the book of Romans chapter 12? I will read from verse, verse 10 to the end. Romans chapter 12. Please let's keep standing in honor and reverence to our God. Amen. 
Be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly love. In honor, preferring one another. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. Distributing to the necessity of saints, given to hospitality. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Verse 15. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not I things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Verse 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Verse 21 and the last verse. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. May the Lord bless the reading and the understanding of his word in Jesus' name. With Jesus' joy in our hearts, I wish that all of you were here during the first service. Please welcome with me, Minister Kenny of Pale. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you bless the Lord one more time? Hallelujah. He deserves our glory or worship. Just wave your hands at him. Just say, God, you're good. You're wonderful. Thank you for the grace you have given unto me to be here. Thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for the grace you have given to us. Thank you for the word that comes at this hour. Thank you because it will do us good in the name of Jesus. It will shape us. You will mold us. You will turn our lives around, O oh God, for the better. That will become who you intend us to be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Let's have our seats, everyone. Have your seat gloriously. Amen. Good morning, church. I trust we have a we had a very beautiful week. Hallelujah. God is wonderful. God is wonderful. I want to start by by sharing a little testimony, just a little one. Actually, it's a big one. Um, February last year, was it? I think February last year, my wife came and said, I should guess what. <clears throat> and I said, in my spirit, I knew what it was, but I said, I didn't want to need that one. And so I kept quiet. I said, I don't know. I said, I see, then she came back home. She told me she was expecting. And this is something we tried for like um, five years or so. And I didn't want to jump because each time we seemed, we had false positives and so on and so forth. So I didn't say anything. So when she came home and told me, I said, fine. I said, praise God, we thank God. And then the very day she told me, the following morning, she started bleeding. Like ble bleeding like you are on your period. And I'm like, ah. Then we started, I said, okay. She came to meet me. I was in church. Then we went back inside. We went to pray. And we prayed. And we prayed. We prayed. Pastor prayed with us. Pastor said, no, don't worry. And it was the first test, as in, you know what it is when you are like in your first month and you are seeing what you're not supposed to be seeing. And funny enough, the second month, it was the same. Third month, it was the same. It was almost like you were seeing blood stains every other month like that. So the glory of God, the boy turned one yesterday. He turned one yesterday. We had a photo shoot. We had a little get together. I want to thank those that were present. I want to I just appreciate God for that. I just said that to just tell you that there's nothing God cannot do. I don't know who that is for, and I don't know why I why that came across my mind. It's not an icebreaker, 
But God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Even in that hopeless situation. Because to me, when you see stuff like that, it is as good as hopeless. But still, God had the turnaround of the situation. It was the easiest delivery I ever saw. I mean, we went in. Two hours later, we were out. Like, it was, there was no... There was no paraphernalia. I remember telling Pastor, I dropped my daughter with them, and then we went, and then by, we got there eight, by ten we were done. And when she was discharged the same day, we left, I think we had to sleep over, then in the morning we were ready to go. So that's how God can do. God is a good God. He is good, and he is faithful. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want us to open our Bibles this morning quickly. And I'm not going to do a spoiler for anybody. This way. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to spoil the, the whole thing for us. So we're going to have as much fun together as we had in the first service. Hallelujah. Let's open our Bibles to the book of Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. And please, while that one is ready, please also put your hands on Mark chapter 8, verse 34, Luke 9, 23. Okay. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Just leave it. All right, let's go. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Let's read Mark 8.34. Mark 8.34. Mark 8.34, it says, And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Luke 9.23. Luke 9.23. And he said to them all, oh, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. So with that said, what is the title of our message this morning? Take up your cross. Okay, and follow me. Okay. <laughs> Keep following me. Okay, we'll take that as well. But the, the, cro the crux of the matter is to pick up your cross. Hallelujah. Pick up your cross. Now, we're going to go over this whole thing together, and I trust that the Lord will, will help us as we go together. Amen. Picking up your cross is not a burden. Let's understand that. We've had people say things like, um, it's my cross, I have to bear it. I have to carry it. First of all, you can't carry that cross. That particular cross, you can't carry it. <laughs> So that's not what it means. If, uh, it, that's not what it actually means. It's not to carry. It's not a burden. Jesus said in his word, he said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So he didn't intend to burden you, to weigh you down. Jesus calling us to him is to point us to the Father. And that's the, that for me is the, is the cross you have to pick. That's the cross you have to pick. That is not a weight. Jesus didn't, he didn't give, give us that, that burden so that we can be punished. We are not, it's not for punishment. That picking up of a cross is not for punishment, not so that you can be punished. Let's get that one out of the way. Now, what does the cross represent? Let's understand also what the cross stands for. The cross represents the love that God has for you. The cross represents the channel with which you can go back to God. We were alienated from God due to the fact that there was sin. And because of our fallen nature, we couldn't stand before God. God is a perfect God. He's a God that cannot stand sin. But now he made a way of escape for us so that we... His soul cannot perpetually strive with us as men. He made us in his own image. 
He gave us that free will. Can you imagine what it means for you to tell a child, you can do whatever thing you want? At some point, if the child feels like smoking, he will pick up a cigarette and light it up and smoke. Even if it can, it can do overdose, the child can do an overdose. Just because it's of the word, you can do what you want. But that is not the reason. God didn't give us the free will to be doing things we want to do. He gave us the free will because he wants us to walk with him, learn more of him. As Jesus said, learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So basically, what God wants from us is to draw nigh. Draw nigh and he will what? Also draw near unto us. He wants fellowship. Now, by virtue of that sin nature, we were alienated from God. Jesus came. He was the lamb that was prepared from the foundation of the world to restore us back to God. It's like a bridge. If you have walked on the, on, on, uh, on some, I don't know what they call this kind of bridge, this rope bridge, that you stand at, that is always, always, there's always, there's always a very big gap between the landing here and the next landing farther up. There's always a long distance. Now imagine there's no distance and you need to cross to the other side. That's what the cross stands for. That's what it is. For us. The cross is not something, to the natural person, the cross is more or less a, a, a thing of pain. A thing of trouble, a thing of, of torment. As we all know, Jesus Christ went through that torment. He went through pain. He went through shame. He went through shame for us so that we can be able to, you know, stand before God um, without blemish, without stain. He is the, he is the soap that cleansed, that, 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 that took care of our dirtiness so to speak so he claimed he, he, he cleansed us all from within all the way out that's what jesus that's the place of the cross what he did for us but understand a lot of people will ask the question why the cross why didn't god choose a different why didn't god just wave a magic wand like this and everybody's clean just like that god will don't do that he chose Jesus Christ as the as the bridge back to him. He didn't choose, you know, he didn't he didn't choose one. He didn't just he didn't blow air and everybody was clean. He chose Jesus Christ and for that reason, it's just I'm, I'm going to go into, into other things with that. We have to understand why God did that. It's a spiritual thing. And understand one thing also, spiritual things are spiritually discerned. They are not, you don't use, you don't use common sense. Take for instance, um, when the snakes were biting them, oh yeah, when the snakes were biting them in, in the wilderness. And God said to Moses, lift up a bronze serpent and as men. This defies common sense. We are talking medicine. You are talking looking at uh, a bronze serpent. That doesn't cure the pain I'm going through. That is common sense speaking. But God is saying, look at. That's why I said the spiritual things of God are spiritually discerned. The invisible things of God, you cannot discern it with your physical. So how God...
Because if the devil knew, if he knew that the place of the cross was the way for everybody to get back, don't believe what you read in social media when they say God said that to devil. And devil came to Jesus and said, and to God and said, eh, these people are useless. Eh, what will we give me? Eh, okay, God now said, eh, what about the blood? I paid the price. Don't believe, don't, don't, don't let them fool you. That's not what happened. Who knew originally that that was your plan to get back to God? He will not kill Jesus. They wouldn't crucify Jesus. But he did not know. He even tried it from the place of birth when Jesus was just born. He tried it from that point. When Jesus was just born, they said, ah, every child ah, is the king of kings, therefore he shall save his people. He didn't know what God had in mind as for the deliverance. He, of course, the Bible says, the thief cometh not but to kill and to steal and to destroy. So if the devil came and decided that, no, let's wipe, of course, the first thought is, let's wipe him out. Find out how, and you know how many children the guy killed. Herod killed all babies that were under two, from two years and under. <whistles> Wipe them out. Just so that that plan of God will not come to pass. So imagine if the devil actually knew that. Oh, so is the cross. He wouldn't have done that. He wouldn't have crucified you. He would have let him say, you want to die? It's not by me. You will die on your own. It's not going to be by cross. I will make sure you don't die by it. But he did not know. And that is the spiritual thing about it. He, the wisdom of God was even beyond that of the devil. You can't understand. So don't equate God and the devil together. When you pray, stop wasting time binding and losing. That's by the side. Stop wasting time binding and losing. Focus more on what God created you for, which is fellowship. Focus more on that. Don't exalt the devil. If the devil could have stopped you from getting born again, believe me, you would drop dead before you said, Jesus, sorry, save my life. But you are here. You are here. You have said it. And I'm still going to go into something regarding that, that salvation. We're going to get into somewhere with that. Praise the Lord. So as I said, it takes the eye of the spirit to understand spiritual things and discern things of the spirit. So, the first instruction from what we read earlier is that you what? Deny yourself. Let's see. He says, and he said unto them, all, oh, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and take up his cross daily and follow me. So, the first instruction is to what? To deny oneself, to deny ourselves. How do we deny ourselves? First of all, understand that your body is not yours. Your body wants to do things. Your body wants to say it the way it is. Your body wants to react. Your body wants to think what it wants at all times. Your body is like, uh, feed me more, feed me more, and it would keep taking. It would just keep taking. That is why too much food, what happens? You become obese. It just keeps taking and taking. It does not know when to stop. Your body can say, oh, maybe you had, it, you had it last week. You can still not, you can do without. No, your body wants it and wants it now. If you are thirsty, it wants it now. If you are hungry, it wants it now. If it's one other thing, it wants it now. If it wants to get angry, it wants to get angry now. If he wants to beat up somebody, that feeling, that energy just comes on you. You just don't wonder. Have you seen somebody angry before and three people cannot hold him? Huh? You wonder what is happening. It's the same person. Somebody that you can push normally, but by the time that energy comes on him, he's so strong, three people cannot hold him when he's angry because his body is, is in control at that time. So how do we deny ourselves? We need to first of all forsake all fleshly thoughts things that have to do with gratifying your flesh gratifying your body things that make that, that make that make your body the sole reason why you are living i live for me i live for myself i am me and every every little thing they say you are quick to mention that word me and i and things like that i did it I built it. I bought it. I, I, I always cropping up. I gave him that suit. 
I gave him that money. I, you want to quickly let everybody know the things that you do or did. I, let I die. Crucify your flesh. That's what the Bible says. We should crucify it. Let it go. Shed it. Shed it like, you know, when snakes, when they, when they want to come out new, new, they shed the old skin. Have you seen the old skins before? Lying around. Yeah, they shed it off. That's something like that. You shed, shed that, 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 that cocoon, that thing. Shed it off. Forsake all fleshly thoughts. The things that make for you, the things that, that, that gratify you more than gratify God. Let those things go. Another way is by you not living a self-centered life, but a Christ-centered life. What does that mean? Your life doesn't revolve around you. And you are not your own, in case you don't know. You don't belong to yourself. You didn't come here by accident. You didn't meet people. You're not in this church by accident. You are not your own. If you met somebody this morning and you gave that person five grand, that five grand originally was not yours. It was for that person. So if you keep saying, my money, my, my, just understand that it's not yours. It's God that gave you that opportunity to be a blessing to that person. There are several other people that could have been a blessing to that person. So don't, also I'm, I'm on, the, on, the, on the side, I will say this. If God lays it on your heart to, give, to do something for someone, don't delay. Not that God doesn't have other ways with which he can bless that other person. No, God has all the means because he owns everything. He owns everything. Ultimate, ultimate chess player. That's God for you. He owns everything. He knows every 300 moves before you make one. He knows it. So he doesn't need, when he now comes and requests, just count it all joy that he asked you or he laid it in your heart to do so. Give it immediately without delay so you can receive your own blessing. That person will still be blessed. It might not just be through you. I'm just saying that on the side. I don't know why I said that, but that's just that. So live a life that is Christ-centered, not self-centered, not a life that is all about you, all about the things you stand to benefit, how you stand to look, what you're going to look, your image. Uh, do, if I do this, my image is going to be, I remember trying to take a picture with supposed celebrity some years back, and that person said, it was at the public garden, and the person said, no, uh, sorry, we don't do that. And I walked away. Life goes on. Life goes on. I, you don't diminish me. I don't diminish you. Life goes on. You are you, I am me. And I cannot because I, I'm not going to flaunt your picture. It was the days of camera there. It was not even the days of cell phone where I can quickly steal the selfie without you knowing. No. So it, that is that. Today, it's, it's history. When the, I don't need, even if Michael Jackson were alive and he's standing. Yeah, he's, a, he's as good as himself. He's here and I'm here. He's as good as that. It doesn't go beyond that. I'm not going to take a picture with me and me and Michael Jackson. There's no reason for me that formed thoughts, those, those natural way of thinking. Like I said earlier, I said that the natural way of uh, the natural man cannot receive the things of God because they are what? Foolish is why somebody will tell you to look at the sun, asking me to look at the blue serpent. It's not going to work. Praise the Lord. So that is, um, that is another way to deny yourself. There are several other ways. Please, we need to also do our own study. Hallelujah. Let's go on. Now, the second one, the second instruction, if you look at the Bible, says we should take up 
his cross daily. Take up your cross daily. You know, first of all, understand that Jesus has done it all for you. Rest in his salvation. That, that, that thing you need to pick up is God's salvation. It's not a burden. It's not a weight. You might hear it as it's that simple. It's just the salvation. No. It's not just the salvation. You need to understand what Jesus went through to get you that. It's a place of value for it. You need to value that thing. We all know that we all came from Adam, right? We're not responding. Let's talk, talk to me, everyone. We all know we, are, we all came from Adam, right? Then somewhere along the line, somebody came up called Abraham. And that person, God made a promise to that person. That one person. And what was the promise? He said that in you shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Don't forget we all came from who? Adam. But now he said, in you shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. What does that mean? That was the lineage through which Christ came. And that is how we all came to receive Christ. So don't say, hey, what about people that did not get born again that time? What about, that's not your business. Understand one particular thing. We all came from Adam. And God said in his word, in you shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. He has said it, and so be it. That you will now come and be questioning why God choose, why God will choose Abraham to bless the nations of the earth. We are all blessed, aren't we? But you cannot, it's not your place. It's not your place. That is the, an answer for somebody that is saying, um, Israelites, after all, the God of the Israelites 